Hey all, this is Anjali and today we are going to discuss how to use images in HTML. Like we've done earlier, a few tags in HTML to make hyperlinks, to give different formatting effects and a few more things. Now today we'll be doing how to put an image in a web page. To put an image in a web page, we have a tag named IMG. It's an empty tag, so you don't need to close it. So we just write IMG and then we have an attribute called SRC. That is source where you need to give the file name, which has to be shown as an image in the web page. And we have a few more attributes like alt, height, width, etc. Now, how do we write this image tag? For that, you should be very clear, like what is the purpose of different attributes? Like the first attribute SRC stands for source. And it is used to give the file name or path. Like if my file is within the same folder where my HTML code is, I just need to write the file name like abc.jpg. But if my file is not in the same folder, it's in some other folder, then I have to give the complete path like c colon backslash temp backslash and then name of the file. So it depends where your file is located, but I always prefer to keep my images also in the same folder where I have my HTML code so that they can be accessed directly from there. Then we have an attribute alt, which stands for alternate text. That means in case the browser where the web page is being displayed is not able to show the image, it can display that text instead. So that is called alt alternate text, right? Then we have height and width that is used to mark the size of the image. If I don't give width and height attribute, the image will come in its original size. So whatever is the original size of image, it will appear in that size. But if I want to mention like how many pixels wide and how many pixels high should be my image, I should provide height and width attribute with the image tag. So we have four attributes, source, alt, height and width. Now, how do we use them? We start the img tag, give a space, then src is equal to file name, space alt is equal to text. You can see the double quotes around file name and text. I've given double quotes. Since the source might have a space in between or the text which I'm writing can have spaces in between. So if you don't have a space, you can skip the double quotes. But if your value contains a space, it must be in double quotes, right? Then we have width that should be given in number of pixels and height which can be given in number of pixels again. Width and height can be given as a percentage of screen size as well. Like if I write width is equal to 20%, that means it will be 20% of the original width of the screen. So we can give in that form also. And all these attributes define how the image will appear on the screen. And we don't have to close the IMG tag since it is an empty tag, okay? And the case does not matter in whole HTML, it's case insensitive. Then we have a sample code which shows where and how to place the image tag in your web page. So here, I'm just putting it here, following is my favorite photograph. Image source is equal to school.jpg. It's in the same folder, so it will show this. Then I've given width and height. So it's going to show the image on the web page. Let's see how it actually works. So let's go to our notepad plus plus code it's here and this is the code which I just show you over there in the presentation now I'm going to run this if I run this code in Chrome so it will open the web page in Chrome and I can see the image on my web page so it opens it like this and I see this image over here so we get it this way so this is how an image can be displayed as part of a web page. Hope you understood the concept of images over here in the web pages. In the next video, we will be doing how to put images as the background of the web page and to use image maps. So for the next video, stay tuned and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you.